the Huey Cam. Featuring the best of Lamont and Tonelli on 107.7 The Bone. And always a treat, Sully, because we have our good friend Christopher Titus oh, yeah. in the studio, who is uh, playing at Cobb's Comedy Club. Yeah, doing Cobb's, doing Love Is Evil, and uh, and and uh, this week I'm doing two shows tonight, two tomorrow, and, and actually we're getting ready. To, I think we're going to tape it. We're going to tape it for Comedy Central. So you're, it's, it's I'm kind of tuning it up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So Love Is Evil. Yeah, again, this show will <laughs> fix your relationship or, or F and destroy it, man. you got to be careful. If you Bring somebody you want to end your relationship with because it, it'll kick it off. It'll, it'll light the fuse. Or if you want to, you, you know, if you're someone you really love, you'll enjoy the show too. And last time I saw Sully, he was cranking down wine at the Bone Bash. He yes, was, that's cranking. right. You were it, at Bone Bash with us. You are funny drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you are funny. It's Had like, a good time. It, it's like some from Lord of the Rings, one of the characters from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> just you, 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 you Getting fairy dust or something, dude. Yeah. You were just kind of bouncing around. You're a little angry, though. Yeah, he is an I angry drunk. Really? Like, like, like somebody came out, and kind of, a little anger came out of you. I was like, well, Sully's kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean, I mean, his <laughs> animal side. I didn't mean both. And Lord knows, you know, a guy coming back from a stroke, that's what he should be doing, is getting drunk <laughs> yeah, on wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but, we call it a blood thinner. It's not drinking, it's a blood thinner. <laughs> so how, how was your bone bash experience? Yeah. I gotta tell you, man, it's it, it, nothing Weirder to me than doing. I did it for you guys. You guys called me on to do the and I, I, you know, but I used to do these. I, I toured yeah. with Kenny Loggins and I, like Eddie Money, the worst one. I, did I talk about the Eddie Money gig? I ever sure. Did with yeah. You guys? Have I talked about uh, it? No, no, no. I did a gig in Reading for Eddie Money, and I, by the way, I'd already toured with uh, Kenny Loggins, so I thought it was cool. It was a long time ago. They bring me up to Reading. They're like, "Yeah, I mean, dude, you, you do great." I walk out into to into Reading, California, which is by the way redneck California, <laughs> to fourteen year old rock and roll Nazis with no sleeves. I'm wearing red pants, white shirt, and a red tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, at, I, I might as well wear a sign. Please kick my ass. <laughs> so I go out, I go out and not, it's not going well. And at one point, 200 people in one section, all of them, whoever got them together, the whole section went, you suck. <laughs> and at this point, at this point, I was already mad. So yeah. I, I did a five-minute tirade on the California public school system and how these people are destroying the gene, the gene pool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, ra- I'm yelling at them and ranting, and they started to cheer. It was like they broke me. <laughs> and I, I walk off stage, and the, I, walk, I walk off stage, and I'm mad. I'm like, good night. And, and, and I walk off, and, and there's a, the guy from Bill Graham's already hands me the check, and he goes, you were out there 22 minutes. <laughs> he goes, nobody's ever been out there 22 minutes. <laughs> so the bone bash was not that like that. I go out there. It was great. You know, it, they, it's weird because you guys had a rock band up first. It wasn't so. so yeah, so, you so had right. a band yeah, yeah. warming up for you. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So the audience is half of them have blood coming out one side of their head because their ears are bleeding because it's so loud. I go out and start doing comedy, and here's how drunk they are already. It was like, what time did I go on? Like five o'clock? Yeah. People were hammered. <laughs> There's a woman in the second row starts That's flashing her boobs at me, and Bro, she was, and she was not a boob flashing age. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she she lifted her shirt up, and they fell to the ground. They. I, I, I could only see the tops of them because the rest of the nipples were behind the seat, <laughs> and she was standing, and, and she's going woo, and I'm like, wow, this is this is not like any experience I've ever had. <laughs> and then there was one girl. I start talking about like you know, cause my act's always about the nightmare of my divorce, and and. And there's one girl, she's like, every the horrible thing I say, she goes, woo! Like, <laughs> like, like people had no common sense. All their, all their switches were flipped. And it was, and I did like 20 minutes, and I get up, and you're like, that was great. You were just happy I survived. You were just like, wow, no one punched him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you did great. Yeah, it was fun. It was now, all right. Yeah, I'm looking, uh, and by the way, how is your divorce uh, going? Is it still <laughs> going you on? Can you talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> like, can I talk about it? Yeah, it's going to get brought up again if I do. But uh, you know what's weird? You know what's weird is that, 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 that you, you, you guys, you so one of you guys because they live here, right? Her family neither you guys, lives here. Neither of you guys been through divorce. No, right? no, no. Here's the thing: when you're in a bad divorce, and it's bad enough, but there's kids involved, and like yeah. we don't like each other, so we have this kid problem now, mm. which is like we have to transfer. It's like a hostage situation every time now. <laughs> you can't just drop the kids off. Like it, yeah. it's like. All right, uh, I'm 300 yards from the house. Uh, I have visual on the children. I have visual on both children. All right, please. All right, first of all, take them back in the house. Take that crap off you bought them and put on the cool stuff I bought them. They look like little dorks. I'm going to drive around the block. If I'm not back in 30 seconds, if you're not back in 30 seconds, LAPD will shoot you down. Okay, all right, I'm back around. Yes, okay, now walk the kids to the gate. Back three steps up. I'm dropping the alimony check on the driveway. I'm opening the doors. Kids, run, go, 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 go. It's, it's like every day. And they made us transfer the kids at, at McDonald's. Now. That's what I was going to ask. Oh, at I, McDonald's. Are you kidding? Because I asked why. I, I said, look, she's just making up stuff about me. Can we just transfer the kids somewhere in public? And, right. she, and the judge goes, McDonald's. And I was like, wow. That, 
And I thought, well, that's perfect. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> bad happens at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> they make meals out of happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. So that's that's where it is right now. But and the new but the new girlfriend's like great. Like she's like great. Although her. You know her her, her her brother's a federal agent now. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a federal. It's not. You don't want to see. I've never dated anybody with a good family. That's the weird part. <laughs> She's got a good family. Her dad's a Vietnam vet. Her mom. Her mom's got a master of fine arts. Her brother's yeah. a federal agent. And I just thought, if I piss this family off, <laughs> hey, you're I'm gone. just going to disappear, yeah. man. It's just going to be, you're going to see a news. Hi, Wolf Blitzer for CNN. Comedian Christopher Titus, who disappeared three months ago, was found today, his body strewn across four states. <laughs> <laughs> Federal agents are baffled. 